Okay, good morning, friends. We'll continue five ten practice practice exam that is sample two. A major concern when the inspecting of a nozzle flange faces are distortion of the flange and the condition of the gasket seating surface. If there are leaks in a vessel insulation system or protective coating. CUI can occur at the river temperature 10 to 35 degrees centigrade degrees Fahrenheit. Is this corrosion most likely to be severe? Which of the following is subjected to de-alloying when exposed to steam containing sulfur compounds monil? Titanium alloys are subjected to loss of ductility in a certain environment. What is condition called hydriding? Which of the following normally determines the frequency of shop inspection overall of a relief device manufacturer's basics? Which of the following describe, <coughs> describes a crack in metal? Crack run at right angles to the surface. Which of the following describes a lamination in metal plate? Lamination run at, least at an obtuse angle to the plate surface. Blistering HIC and HS, so HIC damage have been found to occur between ambient and 300 degrees Fahrenheit and higher. After removing the exchanger bundle, you find a Prussian blue coating on the tubes. What do you suspect cause of the coating? Feriferocyanide. One major area of concern when inspecting guivers for a vessel is crevice corrosion. Where does this occur? On the guivers. You are inspecting a failure in a vessel wall. What condition would you look for? If it was believed that the fracture was brittle, the fractured surface have been chevron. Surface have chevrons. What is the ideal time of inspect pressure vessel valve, relief valve? And the inspection test interferes with the process and maintenance manpower is readily available. And the inspection is least interface interferes with the process. So that time you can inspect the pressure relief valve and maintenance main power is readily available. <coughs> Temper embrittlement is best described as loss of ductility and not stuffness due to exposure above 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The GMAW spray transfer mode results in high deal, highly directed steam of discrete drops that are Isolated by arc forces, sputter is negligible. Spray transfer. If white salts are found in cracks in a vessel, cracks in a vessel, it is an indication that the vessel contains an alkaline-based chemical. The first consideration that must be given when the hub bead temper bead technique of repair is proposed should be suitably for given fluid service and any corrosion resistance required. Direct visual examination is conducted when assess is sufficient to place the eye within 
six to twenty four inch, one fifty to six hundred mm the surface. Then at an angle not less than thirty degrees to the surface. Startup and shutdown of equipment increases susceptibility of thermal fatigue. There is no set limit of temperature shrinks. However, the practical rule cracking may be suspected if the temperature swing exceeds above about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Susceptibility of an alloy to sulfidation is determined by the ability to perform protective sulfide scales. The transmitted film density through the radiographic image through the body of the whole type IQI penetrometer or adjacent to the wire IQI penetrometer. An area of interest should be within the range of 1.8 to 4 for X-ray and 2 to 4 for gamma ray. A bulge metal rupture disc with the pressure on the concave side has life expect expectancy of one year. A corrosion in boiler feed water and condensate return system is usually the result of dissolved gases, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Critical factors are the concentration of dissolved gas, oxygen, carbon dioxide, pH, temperature, quality of the feed water, and the specific feed water treating system. Which of the following is a material that could be expected to produce reliable magnetic particle examination results? Common carbon steels. Which of the following is an example of microstructure changes in metal graphitization? When considering cooling water corrosion, low velocities can promote increased corrosion. This welding symbol means weld all around. Which of the following describes a physical change in metal intergranular corrosion? When looking for surface crack in a vessel made of ferrous material, which of the following is the most capable to detection? Fluorescent magnetic particle method. The majority of vessel, found, vessel foundation are constructed using structural steel fireproof with concrete. Which of the following consideration construction code? A semi section eight division one and B thirty one point three if it is there, but it is not there. The electrode identification above is for ER electrode rod tanked S and X chemical composition. So that is GMW GTAW. Under which of the following conditions should you require the removal of safety relief device? The pressure test is being conducted in which the test pressure will exceed the test pressure of the safety relief valve with its lowest setting. And then you have to remove. The retaining vessel involves the calculation from either manufacturer, the owner, user, engineer experienced in pressure vessel. Carbon steel, low alloy, and 400 stainless steel are not susceptible to chloride stress corrosion cracking. 300 series is susceptible for chloride stress corrosion cracking. The inspection of vessel to determine hydrogen blisters is present best performed by shining a flashlight parallel to the vessel surface. 
when a crack is discovered in a vessel that is highly stressed area, the action should you recommend to consider the first step in any effort to correct the flaw? Call the pressure vessel engineer. Each of the following should be con considered in determining material to be used for pressure relieving device. Temperature, pressure, corrosion resistance requirement, and atmospheric condition. When preparing inspect vessel, which has had a previous inspection, what is the initial step in preparation for the inspection? Review previous inspection records. When it, irrigating a pressure vessel, one of the steps of irrigating is documentation of the calculation of manufacture or owner user engineer. Which of the following best describes a corrosion bottom as bottom as might be found in pressure vessel? Bottoms are made up of highly corrosion resistance material from which corrosion loss can be measured. Why should uh, well probe or tree pan inspection methods are avoided with all possible? This type of destruction test side holes are difficult to repair and the weld quality of such repair is likely to be poor. Heating corrosion is usually found in a vessel by what means scratching with a pointer scrapper. The thinned area of vessel are to be evaluated for continued service using the design by analysis method of section 8 division 2. When using this technique, it is always true that consultation of the pressure vessel engineer is required. Heavy well process hydrocarbon reactors operated at high pressure and have special inspection equipments. Chief among the requirements are the inspection for what type of problem, crack damage. The number of charpy impact test specimen required for a one half inch thick weld procedure test that is two set of three two sets of three because it is one and one one and a half inch we stop here